Welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix 2018. So we're going to keep working on Thomcraft, try to get closer to this working tree farm. Let's see how far we get this episode. I'm getting the Vissium we need by making Mycelium. So to make Mycelium, we need to get this rich Phyto Grove. So I'm hoping that we can do that. I've got all of this stuff. That's pretty simple stuff. The rest of it uh, is more complicated. So, Niner we can get from pulverizing sand, it looks like. So, yeah, well, sandstone. So, that shouldn't be too hard. Let's, where's the sand? Okay. So, here's our sandstone. You get a 40% chance of getting Niner from sandstone. So, if we go ahead and shove this in the pulverizer, we should get uh, some sand and hopefully some Niner later on. So, we'll see how that ends up going. Now we're starting to run low on wood again, so uh, we'll have to get more wood. But that is the purpose of the wood farm, if we ever get that going. So we'll we'll get to work on that. Oh, I wanted to mention, uh, you'll want to carry your thermometer and your scribing tools and paper when you're out in the world, because if you scan stuff, like I tried to scan Angry Zombie and I wanted me to take a note, but I couldn't take the note, so uh, there's something to be learned from Angry Zombies, but I don't know what that is because I couldn't write it down. So something to keep in mind is to make sure you keep your scribing tools and paper with you if you're out doing stuff. So let's see here. Get me some more paper. All right. I redid the farm to it's now just sure cane and wheat because... Really, I don't need the other things. I will make bread for food, and I'll make uh, you know seeds and wheat and stuff, so that's fine. So let's see if we can work on that rich phyto growth stuff. Did we get anything from our sandstone pulverizing? We got seven niter already, so yeah, we're definitely going to have no trouble with the niter. All right, I'll just preserve the rest of my sand and sandstone for now because I don't really have that much sand. Yeah, pulverizing cobblestone will give you sand. So that is what I think we should do to get some more sand. Uh, this will give us a stack of sand if we pulverize that. So it would be nice to have some piping in here. I don't think it can pull and push from chests like Ender.io can, unless they've changed that. But there we go. All right, so we've got lots of cobblestone, so we should be fine on sand for the time being. So what else did we need to get that rich phyto grow? Let's see here. There's phyto grow, which just requires sawdust, niter, and slag. We need rich phyto grow, and that requires rich slag. And you get rich slag, let's see here, by combining cinnabar and gold ore. Cinnabar is not something you... That's not the same as the Thomcraft Cinnabar ore, though, I don't think. No, you can get it by getting redstone ore. Yeah, if ore to stabilize, a better chance of getting it from that. Alright. Looks like I need the ore, though, and not anything else. So, if I'm going to do that, I need some kind of Silk Touch Pickaxe. I don't know how the enchantment system works anymore. I know they overhauled it in 1.9, and I have not seen it since. So let's just see if we can make a Tinker's Silk Touch. All right, let's see here. Tool modifiers. All right, the modifiers. Haste, Lux, Sharp, Diamond, Fortified, Silk Touch. Here we go. Uh, adding a large amount of gold and a bunch of string seems to give the tool silky smooth properties. Okay, it's a single use thing. You need to get us a silky jewel. So, how do you make a silky jewel? Silky jewel is for the silky cloth. Oh, good thing I didn't use the emerald. And yeah, some string around that. Okay, that is quite workable. Um, I think we need four gold, we need a bunch of string. I'm actually trying to run well on string. I, I, I took down the flax farm. Might need to 
bring the flax back. All right, so for those around an emerald, will get us a silky jewel. Now there is a better use of our single emerald. All right, um, let's see here. So I'm going to need to make a pickaxe. I don't want uh, my regular pickaxe to become uh, this pickaxe. I don't think I do that anyway. No. Uh, let's 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 make something uh, that has more has more durability than that. So let's see here. Durability for the head, 306. So where where did bronze put us at? Bronze put us at 430. So I want something that's better than 430 and has a better mining level. Energetic alloy. My slow mining speed, though. I don't want that. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be any of the Ender IO stuff. Wow, Solarium's got a. a terrible mining speed. Okay, that's not going to work. That might be okay for like a. Shovel? Nah, it's gonna be too slow. Okay, so let's see. Prismarine, we don't have. Endstone, we don't have. I don't even know how you make firewood. Two blaze powder and a lava wood. Just lava over planks. How would that not just. Whatever. All right, firewood is not an option. Let's see here. Night slime is not an option. Slime is too low on the durability stuff, or I mean the mining level stuff. Ardai has the best durability, but it's got a slower mining speed. Cobalt. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with a cobalt one. That seems like the best to me. Ooh, could do evil infused aura. Brings misfortune to the wheel. I don't know what that means, but I think maybe we won't use that. Occasionally whisper its will to you. That just sounds creepy. Okay, so let's get um, some cobalt and a pickaxe cast. I should have one of those already in there. Yeah, here's a pickaxe head cast. Put the cobalt in there. Turn that off. Alright, so I've got what I'm going to make the pickaxe head out of. What about the handle and so forth? I'm just going to skip all the... Okay, so wood's an option. Probably not the option I'm going to go with. Bone, no. I mean, copper is probably going to be the least I would choose. Okay. Ardite takes away 200 durability and multiplies at 1.4. So let's see here. It's almost one and a half. So you lose to be 580 and add 50% to that. That'd be another what? 300 almost? Yeah, you're losing almost what you're getting. Ardite's not going to be an option, I don't think. Uh, <clears throat> Copper is 105. Bronze is 1-1. One, one. Last longer. I'm thinking probably bronze. Yeah. Yep, let's do bronze. Okay, so that should only need one of those for the handle. Make the pickaxe cast. Now, what am I going to make my middle part out of? Where's my book? Do not recall putting that up. Alright, let's see here. Ooh, we get holy. That'd be kind of cool for a Okay. 
giving it a mining speed boost. That's interesting. Let's use Electrum. It's got some good durability on there. That's kind of a cool effect anyway. You know, we won't be refraging too many blocks of this tool actually. Let's see anything better. Ardite would be better. Splinters. Don't catch a splinter. Yeah, we wouldn't use it very much. I bet it'd be okay. Do I have any solarium already made? Uh, where's the NEI search functionality that used to be around? I missed that. Solarium. I think it's gold and soul sand. Yeah. We don't need one. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Why not? Okay, one piece of gold, one piece of soul sand, and the induction smelter. Alright, still pulverizing. Wow, we gotta upgrade this machine. These machines are slow. But, we'll do that later. Alright, so melt down the solarium, and I need... I'm not sure I have a reusable cast for that. Probably going to need to get one. Alright. Let's see if I have one. I don't think I do. No, I don't. Okay, so I'll make the handle out of the bronze I put in there. I'll put the solarium in here to cook up, and then I'll go make a pattern. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to use clay. I don't think I'll have too many of these. I do. I'm gonna put the same. Oh, I'm not. Yes, I will. For clay, I would. Okay. For gold, it wouldn't matter. But for clay, it's gonna matter. All right. Get my pickaxe head. Get my bronze. Well, crap. Hey, he didn't get the smeltery. Well, uh, you know what? That's not so bad, really. Where's my backpack? Let's, uh... Alright, so... <laughs> that... that That's okay. That's, that's, not, that's not terrible. So let's see. There's the clay. So what did I lose? Uh, lost my thing and my lever. That's not, that's, yeah, that's not a big deal. Okay, so I need to pour the stone binding out. Make sure clay is on bottom. Got me some dirt. That's good. Looks like I probably... Okay, I just lost a chest. Oh, I lost a hopper, too. All right, there's the hopper. All right. All right, we're fine. It's fine. Gotta love environmental creepers. All right, there we go. There's my molten solarium. So pour that in there. I'll go get me some more dirt to fill in what the creeper messed up. Now, I didn't lose dirt. I just didn't have all those spaces filled in. That's why um, it did that. But it blew up my armor stand. Here's my stuff. Where's my armor stand? Seem to have that. Let's see here. Wow, I blew up this one too. All right. Well, that should have gone there, and uh, that should have gone there, and 
then I need my levers to turn these things off. And then maybe I put it up in my backpack. I'm not seeing it. Alright, well, if I don't have it, I'll make another one. Maybe it's inside somewhere. No, it seems kind of gone. Alright. We'll make another one. Well, on sticks again. Really miss that right click functionality. Alright. So. There we go. Switch that back. Alright, get my splintered binding. Get my ingot cast and put that back in there. And I think that undoes the damage. Oh, wait, no. I have some torches here. That must mean we had torches planted somewhere around here. Yeah, so here and here. Okay. All right. Creepers be creeping. Okay. So after all that, we go to the tool, tool forge. There we go. A cobalt pickaxe. which now has the silky modifier. It's a lot of durability. All right, there we go. I now have a silky pickaxe. And I've learned something. All right, I'm gonna go down and do some mining and get me some ore that I can use to, uh, you know, get us some rich vital grow. I will come back when I'm done with that. All right, I'm back from my mining trip, so I did manage to find some emerald ore down there. I am near an extreme hill, so that works out. Uh, from checking the JEI stuff, it looks like emerald ore is best put in a sag mill. You are guaranteed to get two emeralds with a 25% chance of getting a third one, so that seemed like a good uh, idea to me to do that. Everything else just doubles it. Okay, didn't get a third, but, you know, we do have three more emeralds now. Um... I do need some cinnabar, and to get cinnabar, I'm going to need to uh, pulverize some redstone. There's a 25% chance of getting cinnabar by pulverizing redstone ore. So hopefully by getting eight of them, we'll get at least one cinnabar that we can make use of. And if we have cinnabar, we can use that in the induction smelter with gold to get rich slag. At least that's what I remember. So, to get rich slag, it's like they're all next to recipes. Okay, so, yeah, cinnabar and gold ore, 75% rich slag, and we are tripling our output on gold. So, that's a good thing, even uh, normally. So, let's see here. Yeah, we did get a cinnabar, and we do have some gold ore that I stuck in the chest back here, I think. I also gathered lapis lazuli, lapis lazuli, I don't know how you pronounce that, ore, and we'll figure out how to best extract the lapis from that at some point. Let's see, where is my gold ore? I knew I would need some. I know I got some. I see cinnabar, there it is, okay. So, I've only got one cinnabar so far, so... Uh, let's see if I get lucky. Ah, oh, I've got more cinnabar now. So, we can put two more things in there and hope we get some rich slag. Alright, our first try. We got rich slag. Perfect. So, let's see here. We can't scan rich slag or cinnabar. Okay. Alright, so now that we have our rich slag, I think we can make our rich phyto grow. 
We need niter, rich slag, and sawdust. Should have plenty of sawdust over here. Alright, where is my niter? I put it away in the chest. I've got to get into RS. This searching for things is so difficult. I thought Quark had a way to do that, but maybe I turned it off. I, I'm going to look at that too. Niter, there it is. Okay. So, yeah, sawdust, niter, and rich slag will give us four rich phyto growth. Perfect. Can we scan that? Nope, we can't. Uh, but that should give us uh, mycelium. And mycelium requires dirt, both kinds of mushrooms, and a water bucket. So I'll take my bucket out somewhere where there's water. Let's see here. I need some dirt. Okay. Uh, we'll probably go over to the Batania area. Also where our mushrooms are, so, you know, that works out too. Let's see. Scan some mycelium. I think just two should be enough. But uh, I'll go ahead and use up all of our Phyto Grow on this. I mean, it was a little annoying to get, but not terribly so. So, shouldn't have too many problems there. Okay, Mycelium. Oh, man, it only has one Vicium. We need at least ten. And we're going to need at least twelve of these to make sure we don't have any problems with uh, getting our file. Okay, well, uh, we need more Fido Grow then, don't we? Alright, so where did we leave off on Fido Grow? Uh, redstone, we've got two more rich slag. I don't know if that was enough or not. That's only going to be... Actually, that will be twelve. Okay, that, that might be okay. Alright. Rich Fido Grow. So that will give us 12 of that. Then, alright, so where are our mushrooms? Are they all over there in the Batania chest? They probably are. And we don't have a ton of those either. Alright, so recipe Recipe for mycelium. I think we had enough mushrooms. All right, that is 12 mycelium. I'm gonna hope that that is enough to get us the vicium that we need. Otherwise, I guess I'll pulverize some more uh, redstone ore and you know go from there. So let's go back to our alchemical furnace. Let's uh, switch into our farmcraft gear. Uh, I do plan to move the Thongcraft room downstairs or, you know, somewhere else. But it's not uh, great in its present location. I mean, there's not really a room at all. It's this open, annoying area, which is not going to work out. Okay, so these are all good. So if I put the mycelium in here and... Let's see, how do you get alimentum? Because that's a lot faster to process, which I do like. Let's see, 10, 10, and 5 per DCO. Alright, so that's charcoal or coal, and then some kind of probably cobblestone. Let's see, any kind of cobblestone give us one. Yeah, we'll just use cobblestone. So that's 5 to 1 ratio, and then what was the, what was the catalyst, was it, was it coal? Yeah, it's coal, alright, so let's see here, here's some more charcoal, Alright, 
so I've got 60 left of that. So it's a 5 to 1 ratio of cobblestone. Which means it should be something like that. We can do half and half and then toss in a bunch of those gems, those sliver things. Alright, so let's get us a bunch of quartz slivers. Oh, forgot my catalyst. I need coal, not charcoal for a catalyst. I have to be coal for this one. So, there we go. Alright. Yep, that's got what I want. That's got what I want. There'll be some leftover terra. <clears throat> Quite a bit, in fact. But I'm hoping that'll be okay. So let's see what happens. Dump, dump, dump. And there's one left. But we used up an entire stack of those things getting Terra Crystals. We have a bunch of those in the future. Alright, now... I want... Let's see here. I would like some more of those warded jars. Do we have any? Oh, good, we've got eight of them. That'll be good. So, because uh, mycelium, Shindivisium has Herba and Terra. What's over here? Well, not Herba or Terra. That's what I care cared about. Alright, Victus, Herba, Terra. I have no idea if that jar is full or not. I'm going to say that it is. So I'll use another one for the Terra. But the Herba, we should be able to use that for. And then the Visium, it should work out like that. Yep, here's some Terra processing. Yeah, you can see it, it almost keeps up with it, so. Alright, so there's our Terra. There's our Herba. I'm not seeing any more than just the Terra. There's the Herba. There's the Vicium. Okay, it's starting to scare me. Oh, come on, two more. Two more, come on, really? Well, oops, yeah, I wasn't supposed to do that. Well, okay, we're going to need more mycelium. Um, I'll go craft that off camera, <clears throat> come back and finish this. Uh, I also need to get the um, stuff from the Ender Pearls. I want to try just two Ender Pearls. That'll get us Modus and Alienus. And that should be enough. We shouldn't have either of those things. So hopefully the two Ender Pearls got enough Alienus, so all we need is the other thing. Alright, so I'm going to wrap the episode up here. I know we didn't finish getting mycelium or the pipes or the golems or, you know, basically anything we're trying to get so far. But uh, I wanted you to see, remind you again, that yes, there will be a working tree farm with golems at some point. I don't know when, but uh, it does happen, and you're watching the proof that it does happen. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.